Hey guys, it's Leo, and it's finally time for us to talk a little bit more about Sailor Moon Crystal Season 4. Kazuko Tadano finally spoke up. But before we talk about what she said and what it means, let's review what we know about Season 4 so far. The last season we had was obviously Season 3 that com that's comprised of the third arc of the Sailor Moon manga, the Death Busters or the Infinity Arc. When it was over, it was a 12 episode season, the 13 episode season, I'm not really sure, I think it was 13 episodes. Um, when it ended, we didn't have an official confirmation on Season 4, but it ended with a hook. The last episode ended with a hook and we knew it was going to continue, it was probably going to continue. But there is a, a little issue with Sailor Moon Crystal. The sales of the Blu-ray, they haven't been stellar. They haven't been good at all. The first season sold relatively well, the second season not so much, and the third season, which was the best, sold even less. I feel like the name Sailor Moon Crystal, the brand Sailor Moon Crystal, wasn't strong enough to hold its own, especially with the problems of the production of the first and second seasons. And so the public wasn't enchanted by it. So it obviously reflected on the sales. But even though the sales were not the best, we also had lots of merchandises being released and that's probably a great thing for Toy Animation. It's nice to keep Sailor Moon alive in one way or another, but it obviously affected the season 4 production. So they decided not to do a real season, a real anime season, and so they announced that the season 4 was going to be animated into movies. So Sailor Moon Crystal will have two movies that are going to animate the fourth arc, the Dream arc, the Black Moon Circus arc, uh, Dark Moon, Cir Black Moon Circus, I forgot the name, oh my god. But anyway, uh, this arc is um, the Super S arc of the 90s anime, and it's the fourth arc of the manga. So we don't really know how this is going to work out. Are those movies going to be released in the cinema? And then uh, after that, they're going to come to Blu-ray and DVDs and we can watch them, we can buy them and watch them or download them. Or are they going to be somewhat like uh, Digimon 3 was? Because Digimon 3 was also released by Toy Animation. Digimon 3 was done in a different way. It was six movies, if I'm not mistaken. And those movies, they aired on the cinemas in Japan. And then after a while, they were streamed on the internet on Crunchyroll in form of episodes. So we have like we had like four episodes for each movie, and well, this is a nice idea, and it's a nice way of bringing a movie to us viewers that don't live in Japan. Because the through the Digimon Three movies, they didn't have an official worldwide rele release on the cinemas, like it happened with Dragon Ball Super movies, for example. The Dragon Ball Super movies they even aired here in my city, which is a very small city here in Brazil. So, yeah, you know the impact of those movies, it, it's a very big impact. So. We don't really know where Sailor Moon stands with it, and especially Sailor Moon Crystal. Would it have a worldwide release on the cinemas? I'm not really sure, especially with how the, the Sailor Moon licensing around the world is dealt with. Um, it's very different from Dragon Ball, which is licensed everywhere, and Sailor Moon is not really like that. And here in Brazil, things are very complicated for Sailor Moon. Um, but anyway, Sailor Moon Crystal has been released all over the world in lots of different places, lots of different countries, it has lots of different dubs all around the world, not in Brazil, at least not yet. I hope it does get released here in a way and we have a good dub for it. I would I would love to see it actually. And so we're still left hanging on how this is going to work. After they announced that the movies were going to be released, we have no set date, we have nothing. But we had a new information surfacing that Kazuko Tadano, the official character designer of the first Sailor Moon season from the 90s, she worked on Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon R, the first two Sailor Moon seasons, as the character designer. She was going to come back and do the design of the characters for season 4. So, 
for lots of people that meant that we were going to go back to the classical Sailor Moon style. That's a very strange thing because in Sailor Moon Crystal we had a revamped style in season 1 and 2 and then in season 3 we had a kind of different and more simplified style of the first and second seasons but still it had that crystal feeling which I particularly like and I love the design of the third season. It's very clean, it's very sleek, it's very beautiful. I love it. But then with Tadano coming back to do the work, we didn't really know how things were going to go and how her design was going to be. And Tadano's work is a beautiful work, but it's very different from the crystal one. So, I mean, are they going to keep up with the, the crystal style or are they going to go to some something new? We still don't know because we don't have images, but we have Tadano herself talking about this. There is an official Sailor Moon fan club in Japan, if you want to be a part of it, I think it's worldwide. And there's a bulletin that comes out every month, I'm not sure, but the latest bulletin um, brought us a little profile of Tadano. And it was a very nice profile and she talked about lots of things. And one of the things she said is that she wanted to, to come to Brazil. And I was like, girl, come on. No, I'm like, not really. Things are a mess here. Our government is the biggest joke ever. I mean, but if you want to come, just come. Brazil's still amazing, apart from our joke government. <laughs> but anyway, um, Tanano said things about her personal life and personal preferences, but she obviously talked about working in Sailor Moon Crystal. That eased my heart a little bit because after so many months of no news at all, um, it's nice to have something new. So what did Tadano say? Tadano said that um, working on a new Sailor Moon, uh, working on Sailor Moon again or on a new Sailor Moon season again, is basically a coincidence, but she feels like it's destiny because she worked on the first Sailor Moon uh, series and then now she's working on the last Sailor Moon series. She says something around those words and it feels like it's destiny for her, you know, to work when it opened and now when it's closing. So it's interesting to see uh, how she talks about it because well, if we look at the manga, the fourth arc isn't the last arc. And we still don't have any confirmation that Sailor Moon Crystal is going until the end, but it's going to be very strange if Sailor Moon Crystal stopped at the fourth season and didn't end the story of the manga. So by saying that, I believe that Tatano, I, I mean, I don't really know what she meant, but we can we can, uh, it can have different meanings. So let's talk about those meanings. The first one is that, well, she worked on the first Sailor Moon season and then she's working on the last. So she's probably meaning that the fourth season, those movies are going to be the last thing we see from Sailor Moon Crystal. But I also believe that there is another interpretation to this, which is she's working on the last, um, meaning that she is working until the end on Sailor Moon Crystal now, which means that she's also going to work on Sailor Moon Crystal Stars season or the fifth season. So I, I believe that they chose Tadano to work until the end of Sailor Moon Crystal, that they decided to pick her as the character designer for the last season as well. We have no confirmation whatsoever on Sailor Moon Stars, in Crystal if it's going to happen um, as a movie or as a season as a normal season we know nothing about it but and honestly I don't know if what I prefer I really don't know and Tazano even talked about the style even talked about the work that she's doing and she said that um, She's trying to bring a design that's reminiscent, that's reminiscent, this is a very difficult word to pronounce, that's reminiscent of the 90s style while also bringing the freshness of Sailor Moon Crystal while also respecting the style of Takeuchi Naoko, the original Sailor Moon uh, creator, the Sailor Moon mother. So yes, she's probably bringing a little bit more of the 90s twist on a crystal look. So I believe that it's not going to be totally 
the resemblance of the 90s style. It's going to have more of a 90s style, but it's not going to be the same thing. That's how I believe Sarah Moon Crystal Season 4 design is going to be. So that's what Tadano said in this interview. It's a good thing because we know that she's working, that's toy, the toy is doing something. But honestly, I believe that they're taking their time with this movie and it's it doesn't mean something good. It doesn't mean something good. Usually, when they're taking their time, it seems it, it's probably because something's happening. That happened in the first and second seasons. They took their time. They announced it and then um, they postponed it. And then when it released, it was really rushed. At least that's what it seems. So I believe that they're probably sorting something out before actually started starting to work on those movies. I mean, I hope that they're working on them now, but I'm not really sure how they're handling this. And to be honest, I am kind of scared. I'm kind of afraid. But at the same time, I'm very excited because I want to see more of Sailor Moon Crystal. I want to see more and I want to see Tadano's work as well. I want to see her, you know, I want to see what she brought to us and I want to see what she's going to bring with her new flavor, with her new design. And Tadano is a, is a very talented person. And I'm, I'm pretty sure like everybody who works in animation in Japan is very hardworking because they work a lot and they overwork a lot as well. So please take care of your health, guys. I know it's not your choice, but come on, Japan. People need to live as well, not only work. Anyways, guys, that that's all we have for now. At least we have something to hold on to. And I believe that we're going to have more Cinnamon Crystal news on the Usagi's birthday party. It's on June 30, and it always there's always a party in Japan. And I believe we're going to have more news and probably our first look at Sailor Moon Season 4, at Sailor Moon Crystal Season 4. At least a poster, maybe a trailer, I don't know. But I hope that we see her designs firsthand in this event. It's kind of far away, it's like two months away, but what can we do? I, I really believe that this is going to be when we're going to have more news on Crystal Season 4. That was it guys, thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment with your opinions and your expectations for season 4. I am anxiously waiting for more, I want to see more Crystal News, like, soon. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.